How much Japanese do Japanese babies and toddlers speak? Let's start with the baby. He's 13 months old. How much Japanese does he speak? Well, he doesn't. You can see he's trying to say something. Now let me show you these twin sisters. They're two years and four months old. あさみさんはどこが好きですか。どこに行くのが好きですか。公園好きですね。どこがいい。うん。綺麗。綺麗。そうですか。で、好きな食べ物は何ですか。ごちそうさまでした。何食べてたんですか。何食べたんかな。みかんジュースでしたか。どうですか。美味しかったですか。うん、それは良かったですね。美味しいの顔してください。美味しい。美味しい。<笑><笑> So I actually couldn't make out most of what they said, so I have to ask the mom to transcribe what they said. But still, some parts are not very clear. For example, this one. So the mom thinks that she said mikan juice, mandarin juice. But to me, it sounds like orange juice, orange juice. But according to the mom, they've never used the word orange juice, so she thinks that it was mikan juice. And did you hear how they introduced themselves? Anata no onamae wa? Anata no onamae wa? They call themselves Mi-san and Kazu-san. Normally, you wouldn't use san to call yourself because it's an honorific, so it doesn't really make sense. But when you do, it sounds very cute. Now listen to this part. She said, "Kirai." Which is very confusing to us because we don't really know if she said kire clean or kirai dislike. The problem is the pitch accent. If you wanna say kire clean or beautiful, the pitch pattern is high low low kire. But if you mean kirai dislike, it will be low high high. Kirai. And since pitch patterns are important clues to make out the word, if you mix it up, it sounds very ambiguous. So the way she said is Kirai. So the pitch pattern is hmm, 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 high, low, low, which is the same as Kire, clean. But instead of saying Kirai, she said Kirai. In standard Japanese, Kirai. Is not a word, it's a non word. And you can see that the mom was confused. She initially thought it was kire because of the pitch pattern, but she heard the word and she thought it was maybe kirai. But we don't really know what they meant. And I also noticed that their sentences are very short, but at the same time, they understood quite a bit. When it comes to languages, comprehension is easier than production. Understanding sentences is easier. Than producing sentences on your own. And it doesn't really matter if you are a native speaker or a non native speaker. So if you're learning Japanese and having trouble expressing yourself in Japanese, don't feel bad because Japanese kids are exactly the same. 
And if you want to understand more, I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps don't really teach you how we actually speak Japanese in real life. So click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. Now, let me introduce you to another kid who is two years and 10 months old. So she's only six months older than the previous ones, but she's speaking much, much more. And there are only three phrases that I could make out. This one. And this one. And this one. But she can't fully pronounce some of the sounds. For example, instead of saying, she said, Instead of saying, Osampo, she said, Ochampo. So she has trouble pronouncing sa, shi, su. And this is interesting because when we try to speak in a cute, childish way, we sometimes do this. Instead of saying suki, we might say chuki to sound cute. Shinomiya, o hana jichi o. So instead of saying shinomiya, he said chinomiya to sound cute and childish. So it's interesting for me to learn that some kids actually speak like that. And you can also see that her sentences are longer. For example, Omocha de asobimasu. And she's using particles like de correctly, and she can use different inflections. For example, asobimasu is a polite form of asobu to play. She said, Akachan mo hen na kao shiteru. And shiteru is the progressive form of suru to do. But if you think about it, it took her two years and 10 months of total immersion, almost 24 7, except when she was sleeping, to get to this level. But as an adult, you don't have to spend nearly as much time to be at this level. So as an adult, you can actually learn Japanese faster than Japanese babies. And our last kid is four years and six months old. あの、あ、そう、で、お片付けあ、先生、お片付けだよって、ベルなら、ディンディンって言ったら、みんなお片付けして朝の会室で、で、終わったら、え、で、どこ行くんで。うん。で、お部屋に分かれて朝分の。そ
めっちゃ時間の絵本読んで、うん、あの絵本が終わったら、うん、あのトイレ行きたい人とトイレあもうお布団で寝る人と別れるの。うんうんうん、それねそれでそしたら寝て「あそあもう起きるよ」って言ったらみんな起きて靴下とかだけ履いて、うん、えー、っと。おやつおやつ食べてあの手音をうくわえやってってあのみんな、うん「いただきます」ってしてあの食べたら終わったら、うん、あのちょっとだけ遊んだらママたちはお迎えきあのリュック背負ってママたちはお迎え来るのそ,れその流れなんだねありがとうイエーイ So at this point, she'd speak in pretty much perfect Japanese. I think you can tell that her Japanese is noticeably more sophisticated in terms of vocabulary and sentence structure. I also noticed that she used the te form, such as yonde, oatte, a lot. This is one of the most important verb inflections in Japanese, so if you're learning Japanese, you can actually listen to her to learn how to use the te form. She's also using one of the conditional words, tara. A lot. And at the same time, she's not using any super complex expressions, which is expected because she's just four. But I hope you can see that you can actually express a lot without using any difficult words and expressions. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak. Because textbooks and apps don't teach you many common words and expressions that we use every day. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta.